Hi, welcome to the Enchanted Tarot. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If these messages do not resonate with you, please check out your, your uh, Moon and your Rising sign for further messages. So, the card under the deck, uh, the overall energy, is the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands means that there's good news coming in, and it's coming in quickly. It could come by mail, text, email, phone. Um, it means that things are going to pick up for you now. It's an end to delays. In the center of your reading, we have the Chariot. That's a victory card. That's breaking through any blockages that have held you back. Um, it's triumph over difficulty. It can also indicate travel, so maybe some of you will be going on a trip. Um, for others, it can represent uh, changing your vehicle. And for others, it's just taking control of, uh, of a situation. Now, here we have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is the ending of a cycle. It's uh, emotional fulfillment. It's a happy home and family life. You've reached that pinnacle. It's feeling loved and cherished. Um, it can be about commitment. Maybe some of you are going to get a marriage proposal. Um, it's about feeling abundant, happy, and prosperous. And it's sitting next to the Nine of Pentacles, which, in, which indicates financial security. Um, Queen of Pentacles, she has a comfortable life, a uh, comfortable home, um, nice clothes. Um, she is enjoying life. She has gained her success through her own efforts. This is about feeling blessed and abundant, reaping the rewards of your efforts. Beneath that we have the Emperor, who is about ambition, authority, power, and control. Um, he represents success also. There's a few cards here of success. Um, he's also about setting boundaries, about what you will tolerate and what you will not. It's about feeling stable, building stability. You can be trying to take control over a situation. The emperor can also represent a strong male figure who has passed over and is protecting you. But the emperor is very wise and he makes very good decisions. And he's sitting next to the Ace of Pentacles, which can uh, mean a financial opportunity, uh, abundance again. There's a lot of cards that speak of abundance in your spread. Um, it can be a home move. And we have another home card here. It can also be a new beginning in money or a new job or new job opportunity. Documents having to do with money, contracts. Whatever it is, it's a solid new beginning. Now, with all these cards here, it's possible that you may, you may have uh, applied for a mortgage to buy a home. And if that's so for some of you, uh, you will have good news uh, on that, a good response coming in soon. For others of you that could be buying a vehicle, as the saying goes, there's good news coming. Now on this side we have a celebration of uh, parties, events, um, social events. This can also indicate emotional support or just spending time with people that you love and that you care about. 
The Three of Cups indicates emotional growth and happiness. It, it brings in good news also. <clears throat> That's next to um, Temperance, who is about divine timing, healing, and patience. If you're waiting on something, she's indicating that you need to have patience. Um, this is about divine forces working through you to make something happen for you. And she also says not to become overwhelmed by things that are going on around you. Try to maintain uh, balance in all areas of your life. Underneath that we have really the only negative card here. Um, which is the Five of Swords, which can indicate a hollow victory. Um, there is a positive edge to this card. It can indicate the end of conflicts, but you've lost something in this conflict or this challenge. You've won because you've got these three swords, but there's still two laying on the ground. And these people are walking away from you. And you are staring over here at the Queen of Pentacles. Who, um, she's, this is, a, Queen of Pentacles is a very practical energy, very down to earth and grounded. Um, she's somebody that, um, could have disagreed with a decision you made. She would be a naysayer, basically. But this card also um, can indicate a new home again uh, or starting up a new business. So it's possible that now, she would be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. If she is not in your life, then it is definitely an energy. And that energy would be that you are very focused on what it is that you want to bring in. I would, your focus would be on security and finances, your, your lifestyle, your way of living. Now, on your reading, I pulled um, an arch archangel uh, message, and you got victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered, so have faith. And I will just show you this card here. So that's about all I have uh, for you. That's all the messages. I could get from this reading. Whatever it is, you are definitely moving forward with something. There's not much negative here except for that, uh, the Five of Swords here. Um, but ultimately, you have won, and uh, you are moving forward towards your happiness. Uh, that could be in a new home. So thank you for watching. I hope that this has resonated with you. Um, if so, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye.